following a incident, or well, a few incidents, but I remember one in 2002. And I remember it because it was just after the September the 11th. Um, one of these aircraft lost the rudder. Um, now, this aircraft is fitted with a composite fin and composite rudder, uh, which is new technology for Airbus at the time. That's one theory. The other theory was the first officer did full deflection of the rudder five times, which sounds crazy to me, but I'm not a pilot. Maybe there's reasons. Um, so, yeah, the aircraft crashed. Everyone died. There's the history on it. Go and look it up if you're interested. But um, the FAA wanted to come up with some system to stop this in the future. So Airbus's um, solution, after finding that there wasn't any structural problem, it was to just do um, a rudder input warning. So it's it's in order to avoid excessive loads of a vertical fin um, when the rudder reversal detection has been developed in the FCC. And it provides a warning in the flight deck with two red lights saying rudder input stop located on the glare shield. And the oral warning comes from the flight warning computer and it's triggered above 195 knots. If the full pedal is perfor- is uh, performed within two seconds, full pedal deflection. So on the ground you can just do the confidence test um, just by pressing the button, simple enough. So initial setup is to align the IRS, one, two and three. Just put it into nav, you don't need to um, do a full align. You just need to get the data. So you'll see the selectors are in nav. the pitch trim number one to the on position put the flight director flight path vector switch to on and press and release the captain's rudder input stop push button and check we're getting both lights uh, illuminate and we go off after five seconds and you get the oral warning message stop rudder input is repeated two times and that's basically, a, it's just a confidence check that the system's working. Stop runner input. Stop runner input. Once you've finished, pitch trim to off. Put the aircraft back to how it was. Uh... IRS to off, one, two, and three. And I've turned my batteries off as well, just to leave it in a safe standby condition, the aircraft. Fully powered on AC.